Hi, I'm Andy Wong. I'm a freelance journalist who writes about Los Angeles restaurants and bars. This time we asked world-class chefs in New York and Los Angeles to create a special dish with Japanese hamachi. I'm here in LA at Shibumi. I'm excited to see what they made. Shibumi is a Michelin star Japanese restaurant and bar right in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. Chef David Sloster, who opened this hit restaurant in 2016, isn't Japanese, but he is devoted after turning in Japan to the traditions of Japanese cooking. At Shibumi, you'll taste and feel the soul of Japanese cooking from the food on your plate to the tools that you use to eat it. I'm excited to try this hamachi dish. Let's go inside Shibumi and take a look. So I'm really happy to be back here at Shibumi. It's nice to see you, David. It's nice to see you. What's going on here? Can I take a bite of this? Yeah, please do. They asked me, Shibumi, to do a, a dish with hamachi. Um, we did a classic preparation, which mm. is found in Japan with many fish, where it's the recipe is one soy, one mirin, and one sake. You take that liquid, you mix it with the fish overnight, and we throw it on the grill. Thanks so much for your cooking and your expertise. This is delicious. Thanks, Andy. Appreciate it. So yeah, tell me like what you thought when you actually cooked this specific dish. Well, when they asked me to make something with that, uh, I first of all wanted to do something cooked because everyone sees hamachi sashimi. Right. So, and then on the cooked side, um, I wanted to do something simple. Um, there's the buri daikon, which mm -hmm. is maybe the most famous uh, hamachi dish in Japan, right. which it's braised for a long time with daikon. Again. So it was, it was for me, it was between that dish or having it grilled right. in the classic 1-1-1 recipe. Right. right, and talk about this grilling process because obviously it adds a smokiness and you can still tell that this is a rich, fatty fish, but it's also then like gets this meaty quality at the same time, right? It's weird, it really holds its shape. It has a lot of structure. Um, it never gets flimsy. Um, and at the same time, once you cook it fully through, it still has that richness. It doesn't right. dry because out. Because if you look at this, right? Like it's tender, it obviously has that soft flesh, but if somebody just ate this for the first time, be like, wow, this is a meaty fish. It really holds together. Yeah, no, totally, totally. No, it's great. And uh, we love to feature it here at Shibumi. So David, Shibumi is a very traditional Japanese restaurant, but mm -hmm. maybe not the way that Americans think of it, right? This is not a sushi restaurant. This is a different kind of restaurant. So tell me what kind of restaurant is Shibumi and what kind of cooking techniques do you use here? So, really the concept from, from day one to today was to really just bring out the most of the ingredients at the same time, hold true and respect to Japanese technique. Right. Um, shibumi itself means creative restraint in the arts. So I want to take my ideas hopefully on the back burner and maybe the more technique of what the traditional way of method of preparing that mm -hmm. for me is more important when creating the menu. It's less about me, it's more about just trying to showcase Japan really. Right. So. So in the case of the hamachi, this is about the ingredient. You can see the restraint that's on the plate. What's great about this ingredient that just makes it stand alone? I just think it's a fan favorite. Maybe uh -huh. tuna has a little bit of a weird iodine flavor to the real picky person. Right. But I would serve, this is the fish I would serve to the picky eater, Right. Really, is hamachi, by right. far. Um, if you're not really into Japanese food or not that familiar, you want to get into fish. I mean, obviously there's the salmon and the tuna. But right. come on, let's let's get into something before diving in deep. Uh, let's get into hamachi because that's right. really to me the the gateway into right. Japanese. Because there's a richness here too. It feels substantial, but it feels different than the other fish you're right. mentioning. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm glad you're here. Yeah, great. Thanks for all the expertise. Oh, you're welcome.